Hi, Ezekiel here. So, this is a continuation series of how to trade like a hedge fund manager, like a prop trader, like a bank trader, like how professionals trade and how can we retail traders trade the same way as a professional. And that is the key. So, if you haven't watched the last video where I covered this part, do watch the last video because this is a continuation series. Alright, so coming to recap. So, last week we mentioned that we talked about how do we manage the money where we've got to think about it as numbers. How do we have this tick system in place which is extremely important. Because if we don't have this, we are trading without discipline, we are trading without a proper system in place. Right? So, the next thing is that, you see, does it matter if you are tra trading the $1,000 uh, $1, account a $10,000 account, a $100,000 account, or a $1 million account. 000, 000, 000. What differs here? So let's say when we start off trading, typically we will start off at, let's say, the $1,000 account area. Okay? So at the $1,000 account area, how would a typical trader trade? Because it's 1000 perhaps it's expendable. So there's a lot of trial and error, there's a lot of testing, there's a lot of playing, there's a lot of gut feel, there's a lot of gambling inside it. Am I right to say that? Yes? Likely. But a trader who is trading the $1 million account, do you think there's a lot of gambling inside? There's a lot of gut feel, there's a lot of random things inside? Less likely. Do you think that he will all of a sudden decided to shove all in at one time? Unless the guy is a billionaire or the guy is a freaking multi-millionaire, right? Then probably one million doesn't mean a lot to him, then probably he will do that. But I would say the chances are that when you trade a $1 million account and you trade a $1,000 account, the way that you trade is very, very different. So, you see, a, a, a professional trader, when he trades, let's say he will be trading millions of dollars. A person who works in a bank, a person who works in a prop firm, a person who works in as, a, as a trader, as a fund manager, etc. When they are trading millions of dollars, will his trading mentality be the same as the guy who is trading at home, in his own time, probably at his bed, trading a thousand dollars account. Do you think the mentality is the same? Likely is different. This guy here is going to be very structured because this is his business. As a, as a fund manager, this is going to be his business. The client trusts that their fund is in safe hands and he got to work hard such that he meet their average rate of return that he, he have promised to them or he have uh, many said that it's possible to hit that average rate of return. So these guys, every day is working hard. Whereas this guy is trading his $1,000 now, he's just playing it, lightly venturing in this forex trading thing altogether as a new thing. So the mental set for both is different. But how can we shift from this $1,000 account to the same, maybe a $10 million account? Let me tell you the fact. It doesn't matter if you are trading the $1,000 account or you are trading the $10 million account. It doesn't matter. That is the beauty behind Forex trading because we have such small lot size, such small micro lots that we can trade the same way as you would trade a $10 million account. You just have to understand again that all these are just numbers. It's nothing more than that. It doesn't matter whether you're trading a $10 million account or you're trading a $1,000 account. If you think that your $1,000 account is a $10 million account and you trade it like a $10 million account, it's the same. It's all in the mind. And that's the beauty behind trading. 
You got to understand and you got to trade like it is a $10 million account. You don't trade like it is a $1,000 account. The mental frame will be so different. Take it slowly, take it easy. The guy trading a $10 million account, what trades does he have? Will he be rash? Will he be impulsive? Will he trade low quality trade? Low quality? Likely not. Will he at times risk maybe uh, 5%? All of a sudden your trade is going to risk 20%? Likely not. This guy, when he traded in the $10 million mindset, is going to be different. I want you to imagine that, for example, your great 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 grandparents or somehow or another you have inherited this 10 million dollars and right now the account that you are trading is an inheritance of 10 million dollars and you are now a professional fund manager and you are going to make this account at the very least grow bit by bit by bit it doesn't have to be a lot what is important is that you trade with discipline trade with commitment, you trade with consistency and you don't stray around because you are trading a $10 million account my friend you are not trading a $1,000 account where you can alright I lose the $1,000 is alright this $10 million is going to mean a lot to you it's going to mean a lot to the family it's going to mean a lot to your company if you are setting up a fund management company you can't afford to lose this money and you got to treat it with total respect that the person who have handed you this money will not expect you to gather it away. The person who have handed you this money will not expect you to be rash, to be impulsive. He will expect you to be safe. He will expect you to trade well. He will expect you that he doesn't want, he doesn't need 100%, 2000% a year. He just wants it to be consistent. That's all. Whatever numbers that you make at the end of the year, it's a, it's, a, it's a bonus for the person who has given that money to you. He just wants you to be consistent. And that is the key. So this is exactly what trading is all about. This is exactly the focus on what I teach on. When I teach trading, the same way where I've traded over the last 15, 16, 17 years, I trade it with the fact that I understand that I'm not going to play with my money. Money is not a thing that should be played with. Money is not a thing that should be gambled with. I treat money with respect. I treat it such that I need it to be safe. I need it to be consistent. And I stick such that I trust my system enough that I stick to it all the time. And that is exactly what I teach over at Asia Forex Mentor. So this is where I teach you the system that has been proven to work. All you need to do is stick to it and do not deviate. Because too many times people deviate from systems. Too many often times people deviate from here, deviate from there. They try to mess around with stuff. But at the end of the day, because why? Because of one thing, greed. Likely because of greed that they want to increase the profitability, that's where they kind of tweak around. If let's say I recommend you to trade to with only 2% or 3% of trade, and because of greed, you may think that 2 or 3% is not enough. What if I risk 4%? What if I risk 5? I will make so much more. I could easily double my money. Uh, if I would double my money in two years, now I would double my money in one year. How crazy is that? So stick to the system. This is exactly what I would highly recommend anybody once you've learned the system that I teach over at Asian Forex Mentor. Stick to it. Stick all the way to it. And you will find the success that you want. Not in escalating success, but what we want is consistency. And that is the key towards this game where you will trade exactly the same way as a professional trader, as a fund manager, as a hedge fund manager, as a prop trader. 
the key is consistency. When you go and apply for a job as a trader, when you go and apply for a job at a bank as a trader, when you go and apply for a job as a fund manager, what you're going to see is your track record. What they want to see is not you turning $1,000 to a $1 million dollars because you go all in every single time. They wouldn't want you to do that with their funds. What they want to see is that you are consistently profitable. All your resources is managed. Money management is managed. Every single thing is consistent. That's where they know that they have found a real trader. Not someone who have gambled to make this profit. Someone who is consistent enough, whom they can trust their funds with you. Because they know that this is the key that will make them profitable. So I look forward to seeing you at Asia Forex Mentor where I teach a whole series of strategies, a whole series of systems where professional traders uh, use. And this again is a continuation series. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Do leave a comment below and let me know what you think and you'll be really awesome if you hit the thumbs up button. So I release new videos like this every Monday and if you enjoyed it, do click on the subscribe button so that you'll be instantly notified once I release a new episode. See you on the next video.